males in this area that may have lost hope. Uh, uh, look at me. <laughs> uh, 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 you know, I, I didn't, I didn't, I broke without a father. You know, uh, I was a cancer survivor as a result. I lost my left leg. So I grew up and I was overweight. At uh, 2010, I was 275. So I had, I had a very low self esteem and I was going to be a shoe. It was really just misguided, but you know what? I sat down and started to really realize what I wanted to do with myself. Upon coming to college, I didn't even know what I wanted to do. I thought I wanted to be in a politician of some sort or a public figure of some sort. But for the most part, I'm getting through this place. I don't want to talk about I'm sorry. But for the most part, just you can't give up, you know, because nothing was given to me. Like I said, I don't know how I bought, a, bought my first house, me and my fiance at the age of 24 for her and 22 for me. And I don't know how I published this book, but it happened because I believed and I worked hard. I understand that work pays off in the long run. You know, like I said, it does. It pays to, like I said, pay your dues and get an education. So like I said, don't give up because I'm here for you because I want to see you succeed. And in my book, I talk about when a person knows that somebody other than their mom or themselves has their back, it kind of gives them the motivation to just continue to strive on and shoot for the stars.